Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at the amulet of Rao. Uh, there's two reasons to take a look at this amulet. Uh, there was some changes made to some, some uh, of the artifacts uh, some time ago. Another artifact that was changed a bit was the Bird of Precombling device. We'll take a look at that in just uh, another time. But also there is a new artifact that will be added to this Universal Knight next week that is kind of made to match with the amulet of Rao and the Bird of Precombling device. So what does the amulet of Rao do? And basically, it makes your controller debuffs stronger, and it also applies the debuffs to additional characters. Uh, let's remove the amulet to make a bit more sense. When you play as a controller, you have abilities that are called debuffs, which basically applies malices to enemies. Uh, let's try uh, Singularity. Singularity reduces enemy defenses. Normally, the debuff is applied to the character that you are targeting, so let's target this little guy over here. So you can see underneath a uh, sparring target, there's a little shield that appears. Even though other uh, other NPCs have been affected by the debuff, they were not. They did not get the shield applied to them. Let's try that again. So you can see the shield is here, but the other NPCs, even those that are affected by the ability, do not get the debuff. So it's only the target that you are targeting that does get the debuff. But if we use the amulet of Rao, it will debuff additional enemies. Depending on the level of the artifact, you can see it will uh, debuff uh, 1, 2, 4, 7 additional enemies. So technically you should be able to debuff up to 8 enemies using this artifact. So let's try that again. So basically if you cycle through the enemies that are affected by uh, the ability, they all get the little shield underneath. Also recently they changed it so that it does do some damage over time, again to 1, 2, 4, 7 additional enemies. And it's a percentage of your vitalization and a percentage of your might. Uh, let's try to target this one here. So if we cycle through all the enemies, you can see they all have the little shield. And they do get some damage over time. So you can see the little numbers for the damage over time. There's three types of debuffs. There's uh, debuffs that reduce enemy defenses. There's debuffs that reduce the ability to heal. So you can see the little red heart means that their ability to heal is reduced. Although there's not that many enemies that actually heals in the DC Universe Online, so the healing part is a bit uh, limited. Although in this case, it is also the supercharged generator. And you can also reduce the damage output. So when you reduce the damage output, you can see there's a little uh, red target that appears underneath the name of the spark target. Normally debuffs last uh, 12 seconds, but because I have the Bird of Precompling device, they only last 6 seconds. And uh, next week, we will get a new artifact that will even change that, so there's no point in really talking about that right now. So the Amulet of Rao is pretty much a must-have uh, for most uh, troll characters, and uh, they pretty much give a big boost to all your control debuffs. And they give a big boost to the amount of enemies you can debuff at once. Also, once you upgrade the artifact to maximum rank, you will get 5% vitalization, 4% power, and 3% health. And we will take a look at the Bird of Prey coming device, but uh, we'll do that next time. And I can already hear you ask where or where you can get the artifact. The first option I would suggest is the Broker. So here you can see you can get the Amulet of Raw for less than 1 million. I have to give my usual broker warning, prices on the broker changes all the time. These are the prices on the broker right now, tomorrow, next week, next month, and clearly tonight, the prices could be different. Originally, it comes from the Kryptonian time capsule, so you'll notice if you open 10 time capsule, you will get the Amulet of Rao. As suddenly the Kryptonian time capsule no longer drop in the game, uh, let's see if we can get them on the broker. So you can still purchase a time capsule from the broker. Although, why would you spend 20 million for 10 time capsule to get the artifact when you can just spend 1 million to get the artifact? But you decide. Do so you have a stack of 10 for 5 million, a bit less than 4 million? Maybe you have 5 for 750,000. So you decide either you purchase 10 time capsule from the broker or you just buy the artifact. And another option would be to just buy it from the Quarks vendor right next to our friend Booster Gold in the House of Legends. So here you can buy the artifact for 22 quarks. You can purchase quarks from the quarks vendor using source marks. You could also use the free stabilizer fragments you get from the daily rewards to open time capsule and you could get quarks that way. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below 
And lastly, what I can do about answering your questions. I have over 3,000 videos about this universe online. So odds are, if you have a question about this universe online, I already made a video that answered that question.